Good morning, my loves, and welcome back to another vlog. So y'all, today is Wednesday, and it is my first day of the week picking up the camera. So y'all, I have been, like, we got back, um, we got back Sunday from Savannah, and then, um, and then Monday, y'all, I really just relaxed all day. Tuesday, I relaxed all day, and then today, well, I did... I was off Monday because of Columbus Day and then Tuesday um, I had to work which was yesterday and today I'm working too but I'm pretty much finished with work um, I'm getting ready to hop online again for Kaysen's second session of the day um, so yeah I did decide to go ahead and let him do virtually so he is going to continue school virtually for the next nine weeks should, uh, which should be in January and I am continuing doing virtually too as well. So since I was at home, I decided to go ahead and just let him stay at home too. Because like I was saying in one of my vlogs, like it's about to be flu season. My kid gets sick. And I just can't, I'm not risking it like this. It's like we ain't playing like that, okay? So um, yeah, today is Wednesday and tomorrow um, is going to be super fun. Of course, I'm going to bring you guys with me because the National Fair is here in Alabama. So we are going to the fair tomorrow. Y'all, I am sitting here listening to Joel Osteen. Um, I'll try to link it below. Um, he posted this. This was posted two days ago, um, October the 12th. Well, I don't know how many days ago by the time you guys see it. But it was posted two days ago. And the topic is, it's worth the wait. Um, every now and then when I'm around the house, you guys, or when I'm maybe getting ready to film or something, I just like to really listen to um, T.D. Jakes, Joel Osteen, Michael Todd, just something that's um, really encouraging um, and something that is going to put me in a good mindset and a good space and on the right track. So it's called It's Worth the Wait. Um, I really feel like this um, sermon resonates with me. He's also talking about worth the wait. And the hashtag is um, the waiting room. You know when you're in the waiting room in the doctor's office, um, you know, you're waiting for something or whatever. Like you're in a waiting room. You're in a waiting room waiting to be seen. So I feel like this was a really good um, sermon, you guys, because just because things aren't going your way or moving when you want them to move, um, whatever it is in your life right now, whether that's a job promotion, whether that's a new house, whether that's um, a marriage, a um, manifest a new relationship, whatever that is, just because it's not happening right now at this time in your life does not mean it's not going to ever happen for you. Keep praying, keep believing, keep journaling, keep manifesting, you guys, because it is going to happen. But right now, you're in the waiting room, sis. You're in the waiting room, and that's okay. Because in my life, you guys, I was in a way, all have been in the waiting room. And I was in the waiting room for a few things, and I, oh my God, it makes me want to cry. But I feel like I'm becoming out of the waiting room for a few things that I've been manifesting for relationships and for um, for friendships and for marriage and um, for some of my goals. Oh my God, it made me want to cry, y'all. But I feel like I have been in the waiting room for so long for some of those things. And it feels like I'm kind of, I'm, I'm finally coming out. It feels like, you know, the doctor, which is God, is finally saying, Shandrita, it's your time. You up next. So I feel like God is really telling me that, you know, he's calling me out. It's time for you to come out the waiting room, sis. And it's time for you to get in the, um, get in the chair, get in, get on the bed and be seen. You feel me? So um, I just thought that was really encouraging. Um, and I just wanted to encourage someone, like if you feel like that you're in a waiting room or if you feel like um, that somebody else got something that you were supposed to have, it wasn't for you, sis. If sis got that man and you wanted that man, he wasn't for you, sis, that won your husband, okay? If sis got that job and you wanted that job, then that means that job was not for you. Because anything that's for you, nobody can stop that. Nobody can stop it. It may not be the right time or whatever it is, it cannot be stopped. And Joel Olsey mentioned this, you guys, where it's a microwave society when we serve and crock pot God. So you want to go ahead and put your burger in the microwave to cook when God trying to make your burger go in the crock pot. So it can simmer. It can make, You can make sure it's real nice and ready, the right temperature, the right time. And you get where I'm going? But when you want it in the microwave, you want it in two minutes. But God trying to give you that hamburger in a good three hours. You get where I'm going? So I just wanted to come on here and encourage somebody with that and start off the vlog the right way, sis. Even though I look a hot, crazy mess, y'all, I have not washed my hair since the trip or nothing. I've just been kind of throwing on wigs to do my little Zoom meeting with the kids, and then that's pretty much it. But Good afternoon, you guys. So today is Thursday. So y'all, Casey and I are finally headed to the fair. We're about to have some fun. Um, we're going to get on some rides. Huh? 
This lady ain't hung up the phone yet. That's my mama on the phone, y'all. I'm getting ready to head over to her house. But anyways, um, hang up, mama. <laughs> Alright, anyways, y'all. Um, I probably look kind of crazy because I put on mascara, but I didn't. I did a bold lip. I should have put on some lashes, but I just wanted to be real chill. I still wanted to be cute, but not doing too much. Um, so we're about to head to my mom's house first. And then we're going to go ahead and head to the fair. So we got a spray on perfume. I'm debating on two perfumes that I want to use. Um, one I haven't talked about, um, but one I have. So the perfumes I'm debating between is I have, this is Burberry, Burberry Brit. And it smells really nice, um, really fresh, vanilla-ish, um, a hint of citrus. And then I also am deciding between Ariana Grande Cloud. This one is just so comforting. It smells so good. It reminds me of a white t-shirt. Just something very simple. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and, um, oh, I could wear Dolce & Gabbana light blue. Ooh. Now that would be really nice too. And plus I haven't worn that in a minute. Light blue would be nice. But this smells so good to me right now. I look at Casey and he looks so handsome. You going to say what's up? What's up? What's up? What's Everybody, we want to speak to you, but you be acting like you be so busy. So what's up? Oh, now he in his phone. Y'all, I don't have time for this little boy. So if you see my laundry in the back, sis, don't even worry about it, okay? So this is what I'm wearing. I picked up this cute little t-shirt from Rainbow. It has this cute pocket on it. And I got a medium, but then I just went back to get a small. I love the way that it covers my jean shorts and my shorts just kind of peek through on the sides and on the back. And then I just have on my um, burgundy um, wine color vans. And then I just have this clear bag because we're not supposed to um, have like um, bags that you can't see through at the fair and is it like that where you live let me know and then I just put like my wristlet in there and then my wallet my keys stuff like that in there and then I just um threw on this curly unit says she cute she cute though and I got on gold hoops gold jewelry y'all already know um and then um and then even my little purse thing is gold y'all see what I'm trying to do I be having to be cute. Like, even going to the fair, I gotta be cute. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and um, let's head on out. Y'all, I feel so sick right now. Like, that's why I'm so glad I didn't spray that citrus. Like, I didn't spray the um, the Burberry or the um, light blue. But I don't know. I don't know if it's that citrus. Something is bothering me right now. And I have on the, I end up going with the Ariana Grande Cloud. But I don't know. Like, my nose palette, I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> But no, I'm serious. Like, oh my God. Like, I just feel um, almost like I need to vomit a little bit. I feel kind of sick. Um, I wasn't going to get on any rides anyway, but I just feel kind of sick all of a sudden. And I feel like I already look sick. Like, I don't put on this Super Bowl lip with no lashes. I literally just have my mascara. But I wanted to wear makeup and be cute, but I didn't want anything too crazy. Like, I just wanted, you know, something kind of simple um, and just go with the flow. I need to make me some cute little snaps. It's snap time, sis. I feel really, really sick. Like, I need to get me a Sprite or water or something. Mom, I'm just trying to run down a little bit. So, we are in the car with my mom, y'all. We are headed to the fair. You got your mask, Casey? I got my mask. He got his. Where's your yellow mask? Is that down there? Where, he had his blue oh. ass at your house? Oh. Yeah, in the oh, blue one. She left it in here. Huh? Y'all excited, boys? Yeah! Oh, boy. Casey, you excited? Ooh. <laughs> you're so funny we just made it to the fair y'all like they are not playing like everybody has on masks like they even checking temperatures so that makes me feel a whole lot better still kind of nervous about eating food and stuff but um i mean i've been eating out at mcdonald's everywhere else so why am i tripping for real for real we got sanitizer we got a um they got sinks and stuff for us to wash our hands so i think we're good to go well he had to tie his shoe i told him to tie his shoe they already know they got to be in the vlog. Say what's up, Quita. Hi. Naya, say hey. Say hey, Naya. Hi. Say what's up, Shay. Hey. <laughs> and look at Vera over there. She just like, whatever. <laughs> All right, so we about to go get on some rides. Y'all ready? Oh, what's up? What's up, guys? We just ended up getting the car. Oh, uh huh. Yep. All right. Come on. Come on, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Oh, we're gonna take a picture. Say what's up, Malik. Say oh, what's, what's up, up Perry. What's up? What's up? What's up? Say what's up, Mama. What's up?
what's up babe so today is saturday you guys i have been all over the place with this vlog you guys so excuse me if this vlog is not really up to par it's super short super choppy y'all i have not really been feeling good for like the past few days um but last night me and babe went out to dinner and then we went out to a bar um i had a really really good time we had a really nice time uh, my friend quita she was also there too and one of her other friends and y'all we just had a good time like that really made me feel better to kind of get out because i woke up yesterday morning which was friday cleaning up the house getting some things done um handling a little business and stuff um and i just didn't feel like myself but now um i'm starting to feel a little bit more like myself oh i forgot to put on some lotion i just thought about that but um i don't know why i was going through like this little funk you know how sometimes you go through those little funks where you don't really feel good or you're just not really feeling up to par or like yourself and i feel like i've just been sleeping a lot uh sleeping more lately and just been more fatigued and more tired y'all i don't know what's going on okay <laughs> So I'm getting ready to leave the house because I'm getting ready to run some errands. I'm going to go to Old Navy and then I'm going to um, my babe's house. And that's pretty much it. Um, and then I will probably um, end up doing something later today. I'll probably end up going out with Quita. And I'll probably end up showing you guys what I'm wearing and stuff like that. And I'll go ahead and insert some clips from last night too. Because we... Y'all, so my babe, he is at the ATM making a withdrawal. He up here laughing at me because I told him I got your back, baby. Because I got that on, I got that on. I got that glock. What you want to do? Because you don't want no smoke. Make sure you guys follow me on Snap if you are not follow me on snap sis and make sure you follow me on facebook i'm actually more on facebook versus instagram but you know follow me on both sis okay so right now um um i told you in my last vlog that we have another wedding to go to you guys so this wedding is next weekend and we have to go to my uncle's wedding it's a more casual outdoor um kind of wedding like you can wear sundresses you don't have to be like super fancy but i think they end up getting a building because it may rain or something but anyways i had already got what i was gonna wear so it is what it is so um earlier this week i went to the men's warehouse like store and picked up babe a shirt and a bow tie so um i'm about to grab the dress out of my closet just to make sure um it actually kind of like matches like they're like the same kind of green um i feel like this is a different color for us to wear and let me turn the light on too i don't know if y'all can really see but i just have you know whatever so yeah i'm about to show y'all um oh they kind of look alike let's see okay y'all so this is the dress that i'm wearing it's like this really pretty um i should have tried it on for you guys so you guys can see but it's like this really pretty olive green dress it has a slit on the sides a slit in the middle like it's super cute and i actually got this from rainbow you guys it's kind of like a sage or like a um a sage green and then this is babe shirt it's a little bit lighter if you guys can tell it's a little bit lighter oh no but um, I also picked up his bow tie because he's going to wear it with um, gray slacks. But now I'm trying to see y'all because it's it's kind of different a little. It's a little different. But I guess like everything doesn't have to be super matchy matchy. Like I think that we're close enough. So um, I think it may be fine. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what y'all think. But I think it's going to be just fine. Like everything doesn't have to be super matchy. Y'all, if my aunt, if I was talking to my aunt like right now, she'll be like, everything doesn't have to be super matchy. Like, you know, like if you're wearing blue, like the blues don't have to really like really, really go together. So let me stop doing the most. Let me hang this dress back up. Wait a minute now. Okay, there we go. Y'all, let's just talk about how proud I am of Kaysen. Y'all, my baby got his report card. When was that? Friday, I think I picked it up. Y'all, he got all fives and one four. So I'm guessing for kindergarten, like here in Alabama, or at least the school he goes to, they don't do like A, B, C, D. Like they do like numbers. So he got all fives and he got one four. So um, I'm so proud, y'all. 
and um so yesterday you guys like i know that's not really a bad i know what i'm about to say is not really super bad but as far as the cases and coronavirus like seven teachers have already tested positive and six kids i believe or either six kids and seven teachers vice versa whatever so um i know that's not bad compared to how numbers used to be but mind you this was the first week that school was open and school was only open has only been open since um tuesday so that's within four days you know that many have been tested positive so i am so glad you guys that i decided to make that executive decision look at me <laughs> To keep my baby at home because i'm staying at home and i just i'm so glad i decided to make the decision y'all y'all i kind of feel some type of way about those greens not matching but i'm trying not to trip too hard off of it because like everything does not have to be like super super matchy but i just like matchy matchy because i'm a minimalist you guys i'm such a basic like give me jeans and a t-shirt like all day and I'm actually headed to Old Navy right now, you guys, because I ordered Babe a denim jacket. And um, I got it too small, so I'm going to try to see if they have have another, um, a larger size for him. Because the jean jacket is really, really nice. And, like, I'm a minimalist, so I've been telling him, like, Babe, this is what you need. Get this, get that, get that. He like, Babe, just get it. Just get it for me. So, I'm like, okay, whatever. So, I, I feel like everybody needs, like, a pair of... I'm so glad I feel so much better. Look at me talking and vlogging today. But, um, everybody needs a pair of black jeans. Like, this is fall and winter essentials that I'm talking about. Black jeans, white jeans, blue jeans. You need three different washes. You need light wash, medium wash, and dark wash. It's four shirts. You need white shirts. Like, they can be, like, an oversized tee, a Henley tee, um any kind of t-shirt v-neck crew neck white shirt black shirt gray shirt and then you can kind of find those other colors like burgundy or like the wine color like the mustard those fall colors you know here and there but as long as you have like those basics and i feel like everybody needs a black denim jacket a blue jean denim jacket and you know i also have a white denim jacket and everybody also needs a badass leather jacket like a badass black leather jacket yeah you need to get that sis i went into city trends you guys it's like this local store here i don't know um if you guys probably have them where you where you live i think they're they're predominantly in the south um but honestly you guys it's pretty much this wretched ass store they be having like cute cheap stuff i found this bad ass red leather jacket for like 17 dollars. of course it's a fold leather jacket but i had to get it like all i could think about was with some all black some black heels or some black booties or thigh high boots and a red lip and that's all you need keep it simple sis you ain't got to do too much okay so it is a later saturday night so i am ready to go you guys um i think we're about to go get some mexican me and quita um and then um some of her friends and then we're going to go um go to the same spot that we went to last night so real quick um i need to spray my perfume but let me show you guys what i'm wearing and then i'm gonna take a few pictures and then i'm gonna head on out <laughs> all right so this is what i'm wearing you guys i just have on these um these jeans these are like some of my favorite jeans you guys from old navy i'm wearing this um cute little red top um that i got from boohoo it's just a red bodysuit basically and then i'm wearing um my jordan ones the navy blue and red ones so that's pretty much my outfit i just wanted to show you guys what sis was wearing so um what else do i need to do let me spray on some perfume real quick and hi i'm dressed casual it's kind of cold outside so i'm trying to see what kind of perfume i want to wear outside i think i'm gonna um wear i'm just gonna wear rihanna's regular fleur um this one's really nice and it lasts a really long time especially for it to be like a celebrity fragrance Ooh, that rebel fleur smells really really good y'all like that smells really nice so i'm gonna go ahead and take my pictures and stuff i'm actually kind of rushing so make sure you guys follow me on snap if you do you probably would see some snaps from this night um anyways i really do hope you guys enjoyed the vlog if you are not subscribed to my channel make sure you smash that subscribe button so you can become a part of the gang i almost got tongue twisted but you get my drift and if you like the vlogs go ahead and smash that like button let me go ahead and go and i will see you guys in my next vlog bye